And now we have our last speaker of this morning, Verity McIntosh from Watershed and Pervasive Media Studio in Bristol. Dan, where are you? Hello. We've never met, but where was I when Art died, you want to know? I would like to argue with you as someone who turned up halfway through your talk, didn't hear the framework for what you said and probably have no particular context for this. Art is not dead. <laughs> Art is fucking fizzing. Art is wearing the clothes of other disciplines. It's wearing the clothes and the masks of other, other people. It's, it's dressed differently so you might not recognize it and it doesn't live where you think it lives, but it's definitely not dead. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, um, so yes, sort of ranting aside, I'm Verity McIntosh. Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, in five minutes, I'm going to just try and quickly introduce you to where I am most of the time when I'm not stuck on trains, which is this place in Bristol called the Pervasive Media Studio, which looks a lot like a wall at this point. Uh, cool. We're running an auto setup. I could just tell you about it. If anyone who knows better about these things wants to have a fiddle while I... Ooh, delightfully and then backdropped with something. So the Pervasive Media Studio is a studio in Bristol where a really broad range of people wearing those different clothes can come together. So broadly we have people who come from creative backgrounds, from technology backgrounds and from research backgrounds, although increasingly those are really blurry lines between those things. We kind of hold the view that if you cluster people together who have really different things to say with each other and who have a good old argument now and again, that everybody has a chance to improve their ideas. Now, I know I only have five minutes, so I'm not going to try and talk to you about too many specific things. I'm just going to sort of tantalizingly let some things roll around behind me to give you a little bit of a flavor of the sorts of things that we do in the studio, because I know I'm going to get to meet some of you later. So I want to give you a, three, a few little teasy things so that you can ask me about them later. The thing I'm mainly talking to you about today is one of the projects that we've been working on um, in, in the UK, in Brazil, in East Asia, which we call Playable City. And I think beautifully some Playable City examples will pop up behind me in a mo. So Playable City is kind of our response to this narrative of smart cities, which is interesting but tends to sort of hold on to quite kind of bird's eye views of a city, thinking about efficiencies, thinking about the most friction-free way we can architecture our cities to get from A to B quicker or better or somehow kind of smooth out the lines of our lives. And we hold in an interest in the fact that that may be not the only way to live. It's not maybe the best way to live. It's not really why we choose the friends that we choose and the places that we live and the zombies that we chase or the zombies that we are. It doesn't really speak to that for us. So we're really interested in what else we might mean by cities. So taking the city instead as perhaps a canvas or a playground uh, or perhaps a sort of a construction kit made up of all sorts of different bits that any number of different players have a right to change, to reconfigure, to layer one on top of the other to think about reality as a sort of a layered, textured, changing, amorphous blob of a thing that we all have an agency in changing. So we're really interested in how we can enable people to transform their cities in ways that maybe aren't that smart, but maybe more about play and playfulness. And one of the things I wanted to show you with my remaining time is something that's not been seen out of my computer until today, so you guys are getting the first view. And that's a project that we ran in Bristol uh, until last Friday called Shadowing, which was the second commission from our Playable City Awards. Um, if it piques your interest, this notion, we're going to run the award again in January, so start thinking about what you want to pitch. There's a £30,000 prize, and you get to do something really brilliant in a city. So this is Shadowing. Street lights in Bristol. In its most poetic form, it creates pools of memory on the street, essentially compressing time in a single space. And what that means is that people can walk underneath these street lights and the shadows recorded and then play back for the next person to walk through in that same space. Shadowing is that it would uh, it would enable communication between people who live in the same space, walk the same streets, but not at the same time. We 
wanted this to very much be a pervasive thing within the city and the way we've laid shadowing out in many locations around Bristol. Um, we think we're embracing that idea of allowing art to be part of the city. It's been really interesting to see how quickly people understand how to use it, how much fun people have had and how often it's been used. For example, when we were setting up a lamppost, we turned it on, kids came by to ask us what was going on, we just told them to walk through, and immediately they understood what was going on, and were playing with it until we left. Where technology is often used to perhaps drive us in different directions, on a sort of isolated path, we very much wanted to use it to um, actually stop people for a moment and make people look at this same old street in a different way or you know, think about the person walking up ahead of them or the people that will come before them and have these really meaningful experiences. So I guess what, it, what I wanted to suggest is um it's not so much what can zombies teach the arts, it's that how are zombies already arts? And if it's being chased through the streets by zombies or being accompanied through your, the pool of light by the shadow of someone who walked there before you, this, this is possible and it's everywhere and it's up to us to do it. Thank you. Great, thank you. Thanks, speakers. Thanks, speaks.